Howdy folks, my name is Pillow Samurai, and today we are exploring locations for Valkyrie's black eyes on Hereford Base. Hereford has good coverage with the pre-existing cameras, as they view the staircases and main hallways. However, they are pretty exposed and easy to destroy. I will be using camera locations that overlap with the existing ones because Hereford is so compact, but they will cover some blind spots that the original cameras cannot see. As for the existing locations, there are two exterior cameras, one on the north side by shooting range, here, and one on the southwest side near training course, here. They can view this area. There is a single camera in the basement and locker room, here. Its vision is like so. On the ground floor, the only camera is in the main hallway, here. It has a line of sight like this. In the second floor hallway, the camera is here, with a view of this much area. Finally, the third floor has a camera in the corner of the corridor, here. It can see this. For an objective in the basement, in Armory, try putting a camera on the pipe above the main staircase. This covers some of the area that the locker room camera cannot, and will protect against people breaching in the sides of the objective room. A good sneaky spot is between the boxes and maintenance area. This spot is pretty well hidden, and it catches anyone coming in from the garage or ducking out of the main hallway, and protects the other breakable walls from surprise breaches. If you break the exterior walls in the basement next to locker room, you can throw a camera outside into the recessed walkway. This camera can protect your team from being picked if the attackers breach the wall above your reinforcements. On the ground floor, throw a camera into the I-beam that watches the drop down. This way, you'll know if any enemies are going to use it. For an objective on the ground floor and dining room, there are some really good hidden spots. First, try throwing one in the bookshelf in Piano Lounge. A camera across the hall in Kitchen, in this microwave, is a good spot to cover the stairs and the doorway into the objective room. If you can throw a camera outside onto the perimeter wall, this will alert your team to any planned breaches of the exterior wall. Finally, on the second floor in Kids Room, if you throw a camera into the bottom tube of the playhouse, you'll have coverage of the drop down. This way you can watch for enemies planning to use it. If your objective is on the second floor in Master Bedroom, try throwing a camera outside onto the barrels. This will let you know if the attackers are planning on destroying the back windows directly into the objective room. Try throwing a camera into the corner of bathroom. If you shoot out the walls, you'll actually be able to view laundry room and bathroom. This will protect your team from anyone using those side rooms to pick you or your teammates. Across the hall in office, you can throw your camera onto a filing cabinet here. This will give you vision of all the breakable walls into the objective room. An optional camera is on the west side of the compound. If you throw it out, you'll be able to see the side window, which breaks directly into the objective room. However, this camera overlaps with the camera in office, and you don't get much benefit other than that one window. This is up to your discretion whether you want to use it or not, but just be aware of the limitations. And finally, if your objective is on the third floor in workshop, there are a few camera locations outside that will help your team immensely. First, if you throw your camera outside on the north side of the compound, you'll be able to know if the attackers are using the roof of the second floor as a staging area. Also, if you throw the camera out the east windows, you'll know if the attackers are going to break into the windows in the objective room. The other camera I would recommend is inside, on the shelf in Dummy Depot. This will let you know if the attackers are sneaking in from the back. An optional camera is on the end of the corridor on the east side. This will keep coverage if the existing camera is destroyed, but it only covers one side, so it does have that limitation. Keep in mind that any camera spots I recommend are what I thought of, so there are plenty of other locations to use. In fact, I probably missed a few really good locations, so let me know if you find any and I'll try to update the video. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for sticking around and watching my content, and I hope I will see you in the next one.